What's up guys, this is Chris, back with another video. In today's video, we're talking about oxidized gel coat on a boat. If you're a boat owner, you know that the sun destroys the gel coat on your boat and it gives it that faded, oxidized look that you hate. Well, I'm gonna teach you everything that you're gonna need and all the steps that you're gonna wanna go through in order to get that nice gloss back to your gel coat. So let's not waste any time, let's jump right into it. All right, first things first, you're gonna wanna learn everything that you need in order to get the results that you want. Very first thing that you're gonna wanna focus on is the polisher that you want. So you're gonna want some form of a polisher or buffer. This here is a dual action polisher. I highly recommend getting a dual action polisher. It's gonna help you not hurt your gel coat. You know, a novice can use a dual action polisher and not screw up anything. If you're using a rotary polisher, I hope you're experienced in it because because if you use a rotary polisher and you don't know what you're doing, you could actually be hurting your gel coat more than you're helping it. The next thing you're gonna wanna focus on is the pads that you, you're gonna wanna use. Here I have a cutting pad. It is a firmer uh, foam cutting pad. So a cutting pad is a lot, is a very abrasive, so it's actually working into the gel coat and you're taking off all the old gel coat that is oxidized. With the polishing pad, it's a lot more plush. That's for your polishes, so it's giving you your finishing touches. It's not nearly as abrasive as the cutting pad. Next thing is, is the chemicals that you're gonna wanna use. Here I have four step process for uh, getting gel coat back to how you, you know, it's original gloss. So you could use all four of these in different stages and you will get the results that you're looking for. But for purposes of this video, we're only gonna go through two stage because this gel coat has been taken care of it's not nearly as bad but it has gotten to the point where it needs some form of compound so here we got a hybrid compound that's going to be a pretty abrasive but not as abrasive as this chemical and then we're going to finish it off with a final grade polish last but not least you're going to need some sort of microfiber here i got three plush microfibers you know with the chemicals that you're using you're going to leave some form of a residue so make sure you get your nice uh, set of microfiber towels everything that you guys see laid out here is going to be listed in the description box below so make sure you check that out if you're looking for any of these chemicals polishes or pads everything is going to be in the description box below also if you're finding this video helpful already make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the page for more it really helps me out all right so here i have everything laid out that i'm going to need to start off with i laid everything else off to the side so first we're going to be starting off with our cutting pad like I was saying earlier, this is very abrasive. It's gonna be the first step. And then I'm starting off with some form of a compound. You know, as you can see, this is oxidized, but it's not as oxidized as most boats. It actually just became oxidized. So I'm not gonna need a super heavy compound. I'm just gonna need a, a lighter one. First thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, stick your pad on your polisher. Make sure it's centered up. It'll really help out. And then you're just going to want to take your compound here, shake it up a little bit if you haven't used it lately. Put some uh, squirts on there. That's not exactly how I wanted it. What you're going to want to do, see gel coat here. You're not going to worry about your your skid gel coat because that's not you know that's not really all that important. If you touch it, it's not going to hurt anything. Make sure you you press your your polisher onto your surface. Start off with a low setting. Fire up. And then we're gonna spread the chemical out first on a low setting, and then we're gonna move up to a higher setting as we wanna cut into that gel coat. All right, so now that I have my chemical spread out there, I don't wanna let it dry. I'm gonna speed up the, the polisher. We're gonna cut into the gel coat. That's a key step. Make sure when you guys turn off your machine to keep pressure applied to the surface. And then once it's completely off, then you take your machine off. So then we're gonna take our microfiber here. As you see, we work that area for, you know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute there. We're gonna wipe her down. And as you guys can see, that looks way, way better than the oxidized side. All right, so that's our second time through. We're gonna wipe that off. 
that already looks a million times better than what we started with. All right, so now we're on the final step to actually polishing our gel coat. So now that we've restored the shine a little bit by working into the gel coat with the compound and the abrasive uh, cutting pad, we're gonna switch the pad out to a polishing pad. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll take our polisher here. A lot of these are just Velcro, very simple. Lay, to, lay that off to the side. Take our polishing pad, try and uh, center her up there. You do that. All right, so now that we got that all centered out, we're gonna take our polish and do exactly the same thing we did with the compound. Make sure you shake it up there, give it a couple, uh, couple squirts. When it's the first go for the pad, as you saw, that one ha already had some compound on it, so I don't need to put as much. The first go with the pad, you're gonna wanna apply a little bit more to kinda prime the pad up. Do the exact same thing you did with the compound. Put your buffer on a lower setting, apply it to the surface, turn it on, spread it out evenly, and then gradually turn your speed up in order to finish the polish, or finish the gel coat with the polish. Once we're done with this, we should have a really nice shine. So let's see. Same thing as always, make sure you turn your machine off with your pad on the surface. Lay your buffer to the side. Take your microfiber and wipe all the residue off the surface. Man, now that looks a lot better than it did before. All right guys, so you saw me do that small section of gel coat. You watched it go from completely oxidized to a nice polished finished look. It's, it's got that gloss back to it. Now keep in mind, we're not even waxing it in this video. Stay tuned, because we are gonna make a video about that, but we're not waxing it. So you're gonna get an even deeper shine and gloss once you apply a nice coat of wax to it. So make sure you're subscribed to the page. Stay tuned for that video. But I'm going to go ahead and do the whole inside of the boat. All right, as you guys can see, the gel coat looks a hundred times better than it did when we first started. We took it from an oxidized stage to a nice polished finished look that is prepared for any wax or sealant. I also showed you all the materials that you guys are gonna need from the buffer to the chemical. So this is everything that you're gonna need to do this process. And then I also showed you the process that I, I go through or the steps I go through to get that nice polished finished look using the machine, the pad, and the chemical all together in order to get the results that I'm looking for. All right guys, till next time, peace.